welcome back again to my channel so it's 9 p.m. here in Jubei, Saudi Arabia and if you are new on my channel so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bells for you to be notified on my next upcoming videos and for those who are subscribed on my channel so thank you thank you so much guys for always watching this kind of video I don't know what it is but thank you so much Alright, so shout out time! <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Alright, so shout out time. So before I proceed, so mag shout out muna ako. So uh, shout out for Kambal Juice dyan sa Jeddah. So he's a vlogger from Jeddah. So he can you can visit his channel, Sony TV. And also shout out for Chris Tercy. He's a vlogger from Kobar. So you can visit his channel as well. That is Chris Tercy. And also uh, another shout out for JC Poncheta. He's a a vlogger from Riyadh so you visit his channel as well and also uh, shout out again for Team Empinion in Malaysia so yung mga katukaya ko before dyan sa Malaysia so hello hello guys so thank you so much for watching my videos and also um, another uh, shout out for Ken William Moore who is always watching and following my videos so thank you thank you so much guys Alright guys, so um, good evening kasi uh, gabi dito ngayon sa Saudi. So for this vlog guys, so I'm going to uh, share with you um, kung ano yung mga requirements or kung ano yung mga kailangan gawin if planning yung pumunta ng Nepal. So pag-uusapan natin dyan is yung ticket, hotel, visa, and then kung ano yung mga places na maganda puntahan within Kathmandu City kasi sa Kathmandu ako nagstay um, so probably doon yung mga focus kong luta so yan yung pag-uusapan natin so stay tuned okay okay guys so now uh, pag-uusapan natin kung uh, paano ba pumunta ng Nepal so actually guys um, nung pumunta ako ng Nepal um, Marami akong na-receive na mga uh, good comments. Actually, they are not uh, expecting na yung Kathmandu, Nepal is such a uh, beautiful country. Even though ako hindi ko rin in-expect na uh, sobrang ganda sa Nepal. Which is, um, nagkaroon ako ng idea na pumunta ng Nepal because of some of my friends who went there and I saw yung mga posts nila sa Facebook and then I was um, getting curious tuloy. So, um, napag-isipan ko tuloy bigla na uh, pumunta ng Nepal. That was last year, September, um, during a um, national day dito sa Saudi Arabia. So, I get that uh, advantage to go to Nepal and explore it. So, now guys, so pag-uusapan natin kung ano yung mga kailangan nang gawin kung paano pumunta ng Nepal. Okay? Alright guys, so first thing na gagawin ninyo is check first kung uh, required ba ang visa sa Nepal. Actually, required nila ang visa but you can get it on arrival. So, which means um, ang nangyari kasi sa akin is um, uh, pumunta ako ng Nepal without any visa. So, pagdating ko ng Nepal, doon ako nag-pay ng um, 25 dollars for a 15 days stay visa so it means um, pagdating mo ng Nepal uh, doon nila ipaprocess yung uh, visa mo so yan yung ishare ko sa inyong picture later uh, dyan kung ano yung stamp na inagamit nila na ina-attach nila sa passport nyo so we can go to Nepal anytime you can just uh, go there without any visa uh, visa on arrival tayo doon so we just need to pay uh, $25 I think $20, $20 or $25 something like that for a 15 days stay in Nepal if you want to extend it more if you want to take at least one month or 30 days so you need to pay $50 for the visa so yun, okay so second thing na kailangan na inyong consider going to Nepal is the airfare or the tickets price. So actually, nung pumunta ako ng Nepal, I take home an air from the mom to Moscat, Moscat to Kathmandu. So, 
Ang um, nakuha kong fare doon is 1,200 riyals. So, hindi ko alam kung magkano yung conversion ng peso. But, um, just try to convert it na lang to uh, 1,200 times, let's say, 1,350 peso. So, that will be the cost um, na naging ticket ko going to um, Kathmandu galing dito sa um, Saudi Arabia, which is, I think, Uh, Oman Air. And Oman Air is good. Actually, uh, maganda yung service nila. Nagustuhan ko. So, kung uh, anyone of you is uh, trying to search for um, uh, lower fare, uh, you can um, choose from uh, um, Oman Air, Himalayan Airlines, um, Jet Airways, and uh, Etihad. But only two is cheaper. I think it's... Uh, Oman Air and uh, Himalayan. So, kung gusto niyo mag-plan mag-travel, so, check those airlines kung magkano yung mga prices nila sa mga travel dates ninyo. Okay? Okay, guys. So, third thing na kailangan niyo i-consider going to Nepal or anywhere na kayo mag-travel. So, that is the passport. So, make sure, guys, na uh, six months valid enough Uh, yung mga passport validity nyo before kayo mag-travel anywhere hindi lang sa Nepal uh, kung pag-travel kayo sa Manila pabalik ng Pilipinas or you will go somewhere else sa ibang place or ibang country make sure po na 6 uh, months validity po ang passport natin and up hindi po po pwedeng less than 6 months kasi hindi po tayo uh, may isuhan ng um, exit or entry dito sa Saudi so yun po na po na i-make sure nyo secure your A passport with uh, more than 6 months validity and also your um, exit re-entry visa dito sa kingdom which is uh, it's 200 real I think pag uh, nagpa-issue kayo ng exit re-entry and kung sa Pinas naman kayo manggagaling so same thing, 6 months valid at least more than 6 months and then pay for the travel tax and then for the terminal fee sa Pilipinas and I think Uh, kung galing kayong Manila and you're planning to go to Nepal ang airlines na pwede nyong sakyan is Air Asia parang nakita ko kasi sa airport may Air Asia but you can check that web, uh, also on the website if they have a, a flight but I think that will be via Kuala Lumpur so Manila, Kuala Lumpur, Kuala Lumpur to Nepal parang ganun or Jetstar so that's the other option Uh, if gagaling kayo ng Manila going to Nepal okay guys so dito na tayo sa fourth thing so yan yung mga na visit ko sa mismong city ng Kathmandu actually sa city pa lang marami na kayong option na puntahan um, kasi nga um, sa city lang kasi ako nagpunta hindi ako punta ng ibang lugar kasi nga limited lang yung base kung in stay dito Uh, four days lang ako nag-stay doon. So, talagang uh, limit lang yung uh, mga lugar na kaya kong puntahan for four days. So, within the city, pumunta ako ng um, Hanuman Doha. Tama ba? Ipagkabigkas ko. So, Hanuman Doha. Kasi yun yung pinakamalapit sa hotel na pinag-stay ako. So, Hanuman Doha. So, maganda doon. Nandun yung mga um, World Heritage Site nila. So, nandun yung mga Uh, mga Hindu temples, mga Buddhist temple nandoon. And doon mo din makikita yung uh, maraming kalapate. So, uh, i-share ko yung video nandiyan. So, um, sobrang ganda doon as in uh, um, very um, culture talaga na, na preserve nila yung culture nila. And then yung mga kalapate doon as in talagang very friendly, hindi sila natatakot sa tao. So, talagang lalapit sila sa so, minsan nga parang ano ba para <laughs> Parang misa na, mga agad na lang sila, hindi ko alam kung hindi ko alam kung hindi ko alam kung hindi ko alam So yun nga, so Hanuman Doha, so yan yung unang-unang yung uh, i-visit once na sa Katman Doha yun. So may enjoy na yung Hanuman Doha. And also guys, um, pinuntahan ko rin is yung uh, Swayam Bunat Stupa. Swayam Bunat Stupa, parang medyo iba yung tunog, di ba? Pero... <laughs> yung talaga yung name niya. So, Swayam Bunat Stupa. So, doon naman guys, may kita nyo yung uh, Buddhist Temple. So, 
maraming mga monks doon. So doon yung makikita yung picture ko na meron akong kasamang monks. And then, na-enjoy ko yung place kasi nasa mataas na lugar. And then, um, aakit ka ng sobrang taas na hagdanan. And then, pero pagdating mo naman sa pinakataas, as in, wow. As in, makikita mo yung buong view ng city ng Kathmandu. And then, may mga magandang temple doon. So, yun yung talagang sobrang ma-amiss ka talaga sa lugar nila. As in, sulit mo oh. yung pagpunta mo ng pag once na-reach mo yun. So, yun. And also guys, so before I forget, so pumunta rin ako ng uh, Chandragiri Hills. So yung Chandragiri Hills, um, it's a place na meron silang cable car. They offer uh, cable car. So dun guys is um, nasa taas ng mountain. Um, I think parang 15 minutes ride siya na cable car. And then once na-reach niyo yung... Um, tuktok nung mountain so meron dun mga restaurants uh, meron dun mga souvenir stops kung gusto ninyo and then may mga temples din dun and sobrang taas siya parang nasa 6,500 feet ata yung pinaka peak nung uh, stop over nung uh, cable car so talagang sobrang na-amaze ako dun and then also once if, uh, kung di ko na makalimutan Um, sa Tanagiri Hills din yung may kita Once sa taas kayo Doon yung din may kita yung Peak ng Mount Everest So nakita ko siya talagang Parang wow As in yung pala yung Mount Everest Na sinasabi yung pinaka um, Highest mountain in the world So sobrang nakaka-amaze Talaga pag nakita ko siya So So check nyo guys ha yung Also guys I visit Another stupa in uh, Nepal, Kathmandu which is, uh, they called it um, Bodhanath Stupa so, tama ba? Bodhanath Stupa so it's another stupa in um, Kathmandu but it was focused for uh, Buddhism religion so that is for uh, Buddhism so nandun yung parang pinaka malaking uh, parang triangle siya na sobrang mataas And then marami siyang mga banderitas So nandun yung uh, parang pinaka Yun yung parang pinaka temple for uh, Buddhism I think Doon siya yung Isa yung sa mga famous na pinupunta ng mga turista sa um, Sa Nepal, sa Kathmandu So check nyo yun guys once na nasa Kathmandu kayo Puntahan nyo rin yung Boldenot uh, Stupa So ihiling ko dyan yung um, Yung names nung lugar so para ma ma-search sa Google or sa YouTube kung ano yung um, itsura ng Bodenat Stupa. So, magandang place din yun. And also guys, I visited um, Lord Shiva status. A uh, statue, sorry. <laughs> statue. So, statue. So, maganda rin po tayo yun guys kasi um, um, Lord Shiva siya parang for, ano naman yun, for Hinduism. So, nandun yung pinakamalaking statue daw, sabi nila, is uh, sabi yung nag-guide sa akin doon, nung nandun ako, is yung Lord Shiva statue, statue sa, <laughs> sa Nepal, sa Kathmandu, yun daw yung pinaka-largest Lord Shiva statue sa buong mundo. So, i-check nyo rin yun guys. So, malapit lang din siya sa, I think, parang uh, mga 32-45 minutes by bus from the city. So, check nyo rin yun guys, as in, um, ma-amaze din kayo sa uh, view na nandun kasi nasa taas din siya ng bundok so maganda rin yung view and then yung statue is so parang um, malaki siya I don't know kung mas malaki yung nasa Kuala Lumpur sa Batu Cave but hindi ko alam kung Lord Shiva ka yun pero check yun guys Lord Shiva statue in Kathmandu alright last thing na na-visit ko sa um, Kathmandu is yung Um, actually nakalimutan ko yung lugar, pangalan ng lugar pero once na na-search ko siya isama ko siya sa uh, description or ilalagay ko yung uh, name dito sa video sa vlog so lugar siya kung saan uh, sa Nepal yung mga uh, they believe na uh, once na nawala ka na sa mundong to or napegi ka na or kinuha ka na ni 
ni Lord or kinuha ka na ni Pathala or whatever kung sino man ako sa iyo. So, sinusunog nila doon in public. So, it means um, may kita mo doon kung paano sunugin yung isang bangkay. As in, yung fresh na bangkay. Uh, yung um, I think hindi ata nila minumordial para hindi naman kasi uso sa kanila. Kasi nga, iba siyempre, iba yung religion nila doon. So, yun nga. So, tatakpan lang siya, makita mo doon nakahiga yung, yung bangkay sa parang dayami and then tatakpan lang nila yun ng another dayami tapos naka lagay lang sila sa uh, malaking kahoy and then susunugin and then what happened is nung nandun ako, syempre hindi ko alam kung anong lugar yun so, sabi ko bakit, mausok dito, sabi ko bakit may nag, ano, may nagsasain ba dito sa kahoy? Or, <laughs> yung tour, yung guide ko, ang sabi sa akin is, yung nalalanghap kong uso is galing doon sa bangkay. Sabi ko, what? Yeah. As in na siya ako talaga. Sabi ko, pwede bang lumayong muna ng kaunti kasi parang nalalanghap mo mismo yung ano, eh, uso galing doon sa sinusunod na bangkay. Eh. Parang, So, may amoy barbecue nga eh. So, yeah. Ganun pala yung amoy na kung sinusunod na katawa na amoy barbecue, sabi ko. Kala ko anong una may nagbabarbecue, pero sabi ko, amoy barbecue pala dito. Alright guys, so nandito na tayo sa fifth thing. Okay, so that will be if expensive nga ba sa Nepal. Actually guys, sobrang sobrang mura sa Nepal. I consider it much more cheaper than Bangkok. So, uh, nung nandun ako is uh, may dala akong uh, $200 ang naging pocket money ko. $200 ang dinala ko for 4 days. Kasi 4 days ako nagstay sa Kathmandu. And then nung pinapalit ko yun doon sa airport is I have um, $65,000 um, Nepali rupee. So, 65,000 yung naging uh, katumbas nung $200 na pinapalit ko nung pagdating ko sa, pag-arrive ko sa airport. And then, yung mga food doon, actually, um, pupunta ng mga local restaurant sa Nepal, um, nasa, ano lang, nasa 500 rupees, 800 rupees, um, 300 rupees, yung mga meal nila and then uh, natry kong pumunta ng coffee shop ang naging bill ko lang is wala pang 1,000 rupees meron na akong coffee and then meron na rin akong parang bumili ako ng uh, strawberry cheesecake kasi ito yung talaga yung strawberry cheesecake so yun so wala pa parang 800 something rupees lang for that and then yung hotel ko is um nakuha ko lang siya ng 4,500 rupees. So, 4,500 rupees. And then, nag-request ako sa kanila ng uh, pick-up from airport and then going back to airport. So, it means airport to hotel and then hotel to airport. So, ang binayad ko doon is 800 rupees one way and then another 800 for Uh, going back to airport so 1,600 rupees so I don't know much kung magkano yun sa peso or sa real um, kayo na lang mag-convert kung how much pero yun nga, sobrang mura lang and then yung mga souvenirs doon like yung mga um, bracelet nila yung mga uh, balabal and then mga t-shirts uh, and then kahit anong souvenirs up, nagsistart lang sila sa 100 rupees And then, out to 900 rupees. So, to totally sobrang mura sa Nepal. As in, yung $200 ko is may tira pa nang bumalik ako dito sa Dabam. May natira pa sa akin 300 reals. So, <laughs> yun yung ginamit ko pang um, allowance ko nung bumalik ako dito. So, so yun nga guys. So, sobrang sobrang mura sa Nepal. So, um, talagang sulit yung may budget nyo once na pumunta kayo ng Katmandu. Kasi, super uh, cheap talaga yung lugar na yun as in everything there is talagang sobrang mura and there you have it guys so thank you thank you so much guys so I hope 
um, nakatulong ako sa inyo guys so pagkatrata ninyo sa Kathmandu, Nepal so if any one of you is planning to go there so I hope this vlog help you a lot regarding sa mga pupuntahan ninyo, sa mga requirements and sa mga um, budget ninyo papunta doon so yun nga, so sana nakatulong ako sa inyo and that's it so thank you, thank you so much again for joining me again on this vlog Alright guys, so before I close this vlog, bago ko tapusin ang discussion nito, so thank you, thank you so much guys for all who are subscribed on my channel. Thank you, thank you so much guys for always watching my videos and also thank you guys for always supporting my channel and if you are not yet subscribed on my channel, so please subscribe now. Just hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell for you to be notified on my next upcoming vlog. So that's it guys, so thank you, thank you so much guys, so have a wonderful night and goodbye. Bye-bye!